Have you ever bought anything off Facebook Marketplace? I have. Can you save money? You betcha. Can you be safe? Yes. Have you ever bought anything on Facebook Marketplace? Yes, I have. I have bought several things on Facebook Marketplace and had some great success in getting some good deals. Have you ever bought anything on Facebook Marketplace? There's a lot of scam out there on that. Have you ever bought anything on Facebook Marketplace? Oh yeah, absolutely. I've bought all sorts of things from uh, construction material to technology. Uh, I bought a vehicle off of Facebook Marketplace. I've sold a bunch of stuff there too. What about phones? I have uh, bought a couple of cell phones uh, on Facebook Marketplace. Have you ever bought anything on Facebook Marketplace? I have. Did yeah. you feel safe when you bought it and everything was good? Oh, absolutely. The experience was okay? Yes, it was. Have you ever bought anything off a of Facebook Marketplace? Like, say for instance, a cell phone. I've bought several cell phones from Facebook Marketplace and a lot of people will ask, oh my God, I feel like you're gonna get scammed or something like that. And yeah, the possibility is definitely there to be scammed on a phone. I almost bought a phone that was locked to a provider that I don't have one time. And if I wouldn't have tested it with my SIM card, I would have fell suckered to this and I would have had to sell that phone to some other poor individual who was unexpected. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. I would have been honest and said it was locked to something. But is it safe to buy a cell phone or anything else from Facebook Marketplace? Today, I'm gonna to teach you about cell phones. I've bought a lot and sold a lot from Facebook Marketplace but there are definitely some things you should look for when buying a phone from Facebook Marketplace. Hey, Nicole. Yes, baby. Where did your phone come from? You got it on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace. I bought a phone over the weekend from? Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace. The phone that I'm recording on today is a pretty new, 15 day old. It's 15 days old. It's an iPhone 15. Pro, which I got for 46% off um, from Facebook Marketplace. And I'm gonna teach you how to buy a phone on Facebook Marketplace and what to look for, because you can get some deals. For instance, I always, this is the phone that I'm upgrading from, which is iPhone 12, which was a good deal from AT&T back in the day when they were introducing 5G, they gave you $800 for your old phone, which was an iPhone 11, which you had to pay off and they gave you a good deal. But this phone I bought off of Facebook Marketplace for $280, it's an iPhone. And I'm gonna show you what to look for or the first thing that I look for when I buy a phone off the internet. So the first thing I'm gonna look for is an IEE, blah, 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 blah. IMEI number, which is an identification number. Actually, here, I'll read what it says real quick so that you'll know what it is you're looking for. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the physical condition of the phone. Uh, this one actually came in its original box. Like this, this is an original box it came in. Still had the things in it that you need for the phone. So original box, and you can pull an IMEI number off the box. It's down at the bottom of this box. Um, check it out, IMEI number is on there. And then you can log in and look at the IMEI number on a phone, and it does. It tells you everything about the phone. It'll tell you when the phone was manufactured. In the case of this iPhone 15 Pro that I bought, it had an actual purchase date of June 21st. So the phone was 15 days old when I bought it and I bought it for $650. And I know the person paid 1180 something dollars after taxes for the phone, 46% discount, it works fine. I did check out the IMEI number and that's how I know when it was bought. But in addition, so it came, with the bag. I mean, this person still had the bag and it came with the box when it has everything in the box. Once again, the IMEI number is on back of the box 
and you definitely want to look up the IMEI number. And it also came, ah, oh, look at the case uh, up there. It's black. Uh, the person actually bought a case. They actually bought a screen protector, which they kept. And it came with a case already, which this is your normal black hard case. I've changed it up and put on the case I like on it. But it was definitely a bargain and things to look for. IMEI number, definitely look it up. It's the internal mobile equipment identification number, IMEI, and it'll tell you so much about the phone. But also on the phone, you all want to look for scratches, but you don't want the phone on to look at scratches. You want the black screen to see if you can see any scratches and to see if there's a screen protector, you can kind of stick your finger in here to look for a screen protector. Sometimes if you buy a phone with that needs a new screen, it can be fixed, but things to look for is, has the phone been dropped? Like, do you see anything on it to where it's been dropped that's gonna make it impossible for you to put on the new screen? Because once it's been dropped, if it bends that aluminum or the, the material that it's made out of, it's gonna be really hard to put that screen on. Uh, so something to think about, does it come with a case? Does the person really care about the phone? But physical condition, the next thing that you want to look for after you check the IMEI number and you look at the physical condition of the phone, open it up, uh, go to the system settings, and then in the system settings here, you go down to the battery setting. So click on the battery setting, and then it says battery health and charging. And that's what you want to look for. On this one, it says it has 100% capability. So this phone has not been used a ton. But like I said, I bought it uh, on Facebook Marketplace and I paid $280 for it, what, a year ago or longer? It's probably been longer. longer. It's been a lot. So like two years ago when the 14 was probably still out and I got a deal on it, like they say, do not take a phone. If it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. And that's probably true. So I asked the person, and it doesn't hurt to ask questions. All they can say is no. There's been deals I've walked away from before. But the person said, hey, I'm a tattoo artist. I took it in trade for a tattoo. I believe that. And you know what? This one actually had the cover still on it so the phone had never been used and for 280 dollars you have a perfectly good backup phone to your other iphone 12 which is your daily user phone and always keep a backup just in case one dies i don't want to be at the mercy of apple at&t verizon sprint t-mobile is sprint even around i don't even know if sprint's around anymore maybe not but i don't want to be at their mercy for a new phone like i hear a lot of people do um physical condition, battery health, check out the performance. So I did make a mistake when I bought Nicole's phone. I didn't test out, could I hear on it? And nowadays everything is eSIM. So you can't just take a SIM card and put it in the phone. You have to actually transfer your eSIM to it to make sure that it works. It used to be super easy. Pop out your SIM card, does it work, does it not? If it doesn't work, does the phone say it's locked or not? So check out the phone's performance. You wanna check out the camera, um, you know, go ahead and turn the camera on. I mean, the person's selling a phone, you're, you've are you got cash money or you're gonna transfer money to them. So let's make sure that this phone works. So the IMEI checker is a must. Before I even go look at a phone, I'm gonna do that. Also look at the software updates on the phone. If you know that Apple's at 17 point whatever, uh, has the phone been updated? Because it'll tell you the last time it was used if you're buying a, an older phone. Camera quality, does it come with the accessories? Like, does it come with a charger? Does it come with a case? Um, you know, you want to know this before buying it. Uh, the network capability, uh, you want to make sure that it is working on your network on the bands that it has. Seller's reputation. I always check the seller out before I go meet with somebody face to face <coughs> to see what kind of a person they are. Do they get good reviews? Have they sold before? 
Is their Facebook account new? And they're just using it to pawn something off for a sucker? Maybe. Um, in this case, actually, the person I bought it from's Facebook account was new 2024. But I gotta say, um, I looked at the physical condition of the phone and looked at the IMEI number before I ever met with the person. I asked them why they were selling it. It never hurts to ask why. Um, in this instance, they said that it was just a lot of foam for them. I think it was probably an impulse buy. Return policy. Uh, the phone that I'm recording on, the, I 15, the iPhone 15 Pro, it's still under the, the warranty for two years. And, you know, Apple Care, you have to have transferred to you. So if someone does have the Apple Care on their phone, uh, they have to actually transfer it to you. And something that I was reading here is it did say, ask for a bill, bill of sale. And, you know, why not? Uh, you could write out a bill of sale for anything. I know being in the business that I'm in, that if you sell something through the internet, they want a bill of sale and they want to make sure it was sold at a fair price so you're not fudging numbers. Meet in person if possible. Arrange to meet the seller and inspect the phone. Meet in a public place. Yeah, for your protection and theirs. Uh, a lot of times you, I'll send a picture of myself so they know who they're looking for and they can check me out on Facebook too. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's basically how to buy a phone on Facebook Marketplace and not get scammed. And, you know, test the screen, look it over, play with it a little bit before handing somebody the cash. That's the best advice I can give. So, have you bought anything on Facebook Marketplace? You ever bought a phone on Facebook Marketplace? Have you been scammed? Have you not been scammed? How did the transaction go? We want to know. Um, I think it's a pretty safe place to do business and I will still sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's so easy nowadays. Remember when you used to have to garage sell or you used to have to put an ad in the paper? Not anymore. Um, selling things online is the way it's going to be from here out. So know what you're doing. I hope I taught you something today. If you have any questions, let me know. Have you ever bought something? Mm -hmm.